have come back in your uh, UK in three months. Yeah. For three months? Sorry, three months. You were Don't you just don't you just dislike it when somebody behaves in a way that you know they could have behaved better because you know this is not the first time in this position. Do you know what I'm talking about? If you don't know, you're about to know because you see this is the situation with Louise now. She's now in the position where she's upset. She's irate with the fact that Jose cannot come to the UK within the next three months because he has to wait for the visa process, and because of that, she decides to react like this. You won't be here when the baby's born. It's not my decision, it's decision of his process. I mean, the baby will be alone. And whose fault is that? It's your own fault. You've had a child before. You know how it all works. At the end of the day, if you was an intelligent person, you would have 100% made sure that first, you would have married him, which obviously you did. But secondly, you would have made sure that he was then back in the UK on a permanent basis. And then you would have then got pregnant. But instead, you decided to do everything, rush, 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 rush. And now you're in a position where you'd be given birth by yourself. But the reality is this though, can you blame this on Jose? Hell no, because he's not a part of the UK border. You see what I'm saying? It's as simple as that. And also on top of that, can I flip it and say, well, Jose should have known better. Jose should have done the same thing. Not necessarily because we know Jose is pretty much... If you did what I'm saying. So really and truly, the responsibility really did come to Louise, no matter how you look at it. You see what I'm saying? But the fact that she hasn't done that, and now she's in this position, and now she's upset and annoyed to the fact that she has to give birth by herself. Again, who put yourself in this position, Louise? Louise, you put yourself in this position, and you cannot say otherwise. Yeah, probably, man. I'm sorry. You will not see the baby come into the world. You're supposed to be here. Ah, uh, you know what? Sometimes I'm watching this woman, I'm like, who are you trying to guilt trip? There's nothing you can do. But yet you're sitting here complaining and whining. <laughs> but this is what happens when people make poor choices. This is what happens when people rush their choices. This is why people have to do their best to be as logical as possible. You know what I mean? To be as sensible as possible. And most importantly, just to be as mature as possible. And the, and the funniest thing is that everything that I just said literally comes underneath, underneath maturing. But Louise wouldn't know a single goddamn thing about that because she's still a freaking clown. I don't want to give birth without you here. I don't want to do it alone, Jose. I need you here. Well, the reality is this, at least in my opinion. Do I feel sorry for Louise? Hell no. Do I feel sorry for, for, for Jose? Hell no. Do I feel sorry for the baby that's about to come? Hell yes. Do I feel sorry for her son? Hell yes. And the grand scheme of it is that Louise is someone that continues doing the same madness because she's a walking calamity. <laughs> but either way though, you guys let me know what you're thinking down below and we'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.